hello hello everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel if you are new to this channel please subscribe and if you're a returning subscriber thank you and god bless you how are you all doing today so right now on the internet space my correct correct people we've come again with another Obunge information from the palace of ife my correct correct people as you take the bars will soon as say will say maybe will carry and come me to now yes so my correct people uh there was a time we heard allegedly that uh Olori elizabeth was crying uh that according to her allegedly she wanted to confess something to queen naomi yeah that something had been bothering her and she wanted to confess that to queen naomi and uh, she's she has been pleading that queen naomi should forgive and forget so people we are like confess now so that queen naomi will know whether she's going to forgive or forget there is no way you just start by telling someone to please forgive and forget without first of all saying what you've done that uh, caused the forgiveness uh, caused you to be pleading for the person to forgive you or so so my country people oh, nada matter nine days still day as we heard allegedly that uh, olori uh, elizabeth finally finally met with queen naomi yeah so queen naomi heard of her constant cry and her constant plea for her to be forgiven that uh, it was ignorant then that she doesn't know what she was doing you know all those sort, uh, sort of uh, words so queen naomi was now like okay can you come over let us discuss this once and for all so she invited olori elizabeth olori elizabeth came over and was able to confess whatsoever thing that has been bothering her yeah she confessed she told queen naomi how it all happened and every other thing the part i love there is that this crime this this particular something now that olori elizabeth wanted to uh confess she felt really bad confessing that yeah she felt even when she had not said anything about it she felt really bad and it's going to be somehow for queen naomi to be like okay uh, if you must confess confess it in the public confess it so that people will hear so that people will hear what you've done or something like that no queen naomi understood that this particular something now is very hard for olori elizabeth to spew and we naomi invited her privately for her to talk to her woman to woman for her to open up to her so we heard allegedly that they had a secret meeting where she told queen naomi all she wanted to tell her she cried she the, the both of them cried together they wiped their tears together they just celebrated god they worshipped god together prayed together and all of elizabeth now uh stormed out to start going back home so it was when she came out that she told people that cared to listen that she had settled properly with queen naomi that she had been able to sort out all those problems with queen naomi and so on and so forth wow my correct correct people what i love uh here is the fact that queen naomi did not allow her to uh do not if i did not how am I going to even say it? Hmm. Did not allow her to uh, pass through uh, uh, Wahala. Yes, Kwenami did not allow her to pass through Wahala. So, my current people know uh, she confessed to Queen Naomi. Queen Naomi uh, forgave her. Yeah, Queen Naomi forgave her sins and uh, told her never to sin again. Don't mind me. Yeah, Queen Naomi forgave her and. Uh, uh, prayed with her so all of the elizabeth now left so people we are pleased that queen naomi did it the way she did it yeah that uh, she was able to hide for all of the elizabeth considering the fact that this thing that this woman had been crying about it is something that is pain in her that is true repentance yeah it is true repentance so my country people but a lot of people are still like uh Olubi elizabeth is a chameleon that queen naomi should not trust her that queen naomi should uh, uh tell kbs what it is that Olubi elizabeth told her so that is going to be uh, into two years or something others we are like ah oh, that, that why would she go in secret to go and apologize to queen naomi in fact a lot of uh comment though but anyway she going to uh she going in secret to go and uh, to uh, to go and um, 
apologize to Queen Naomi. Uh, I I feel that she wanted to do that to Queen Naomi alone. That she wanted that this has been eating eating her up. And according to how we heard, since she became pregnant, she had been having all these uh, bad bad dreams concerning what she has done in the past. So it means that number one, uh, her conscience is really dealing with her, and she wanted to voice it out. She wanted to talk to someone. So thank God that Queen Naomi made herself available for her to talk to her and be able to uh, uh, confess her sins to her. Not her all her sins, so because hey, don't don't misunderstand it. So as in to confess what um what uh, she did to Queen Naomi. Yeah, she she confessed that and the. Uh, now everything is all right now everything is all right they've gone back to uh normal they've gone back to being who uh, uh, the best of friends and you know when naomi cannot be your enemy when i know that yeah when naomi is not that type of a person that will come and be your enemy no Queen Naomi is someone that will support you, that will give you encouragement, will advise you. In fact, all those good stuff, that is who Queen Naomi is, all right? So now, Queen Na uh, Uluri Elizabeth is forgiven and she'll be happy. So if she's seen any other thing in her dream, it might be that she had drunk another person. Definitely not Queen Naomi, but, Queen, but because Queen Naomi uh, had already forgiven her. Uh, she'd already forgive and forget. She don't forget they themselves, not to talk more of her. Yeah. They don't forgive and forget. So let her... Uh, let her uh, uh, celebrate, let them celebrate, let them pray together. You know, there was a time Olori Elizabeth uh, pleaded with uh, Olori Naomi that she wanted to join their prayer group. I don't know if you remember, there was actually a time something like that happened. So if she, she still need to uh, join any prayer group, it's still very much available, it's still much, very much uh, good for her. Yeah, let her join because it will really help her. It's going to help her, like seriously. So my country people, that's it though, my current people, please do well to remember that all these are alleged information, all right? Yeah, we gathered this information on the internet space and decided to bring it to you, yeah. So, um, do well to always like and uh, share. So, now, Olori Elizabeth is free. She she will not cry anymore unless there is anything she uh, she was hiding or something she hid away from Queen Naomi. It's only her that will say. So now she is free and uh, everybody is happy. She's happy. Queen Naomi is happy. So let her go and say no more according to God. <laughs> Anyway, it is what it is. It is what it is. They will just be doing Queen Naomi, and Queen Naomi will be forgiving them without even looking back. Wow. Without looking back, Queen Naomi is forgiving them. It's well. She's a nice woman. She's a good woman. May God strengthen her in this uh, trial phase because, like, seriously, this is a trial phase for Queen Naomi. But we pray and believe that God is going to strengthen her. God is going to give her more wisdom. God is, in fact, God is really going to be with her till the end of everything. So, my correct, correct people, I saw the alleged info on the internet and I brought it to you. So, like, share, subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. Bye.